Hi friends today we will study light shadows and reflections light is a form of energy we need light to see things we cannot see an object in the dark during day time sunlight allows us to see objects and at night it is the light of a torch and electric bulb or tube light which makes us see objects light enables us to see objects from which it comes or from which it is reflected we detect light with our eyes let us discuss the various sources of light an object which gives out light is called a source of light the various sources of light around us are sun stars electric bulb tube light kerosene oil lamp candle torch fireflies etc the most important source of light for us is the sun the sun is a very bright source of light even though sun is 150 million kilometers away from us its light makes the daytime bright on the earth at night we use an electric bulb tube light kerosene oil lamp candle or torch as the source of light the firefly is a very feeble source of light though firefly looks very pretty in the dark night but its light is so dim that it is of no use to us natural and man-made sources of light all the sources of light can be divided into two groups the natural sources of light and man-made sources of light those sources of light which occur in nature as such are called natural sources of light the sun is the best natural source of light nearly all the natural light we receive on the earth comes from the sun the stars meteors and firefly are the other natural sources of light and those sources of light which have been made by man are called as man made sources of light or artificial sources of light electric bulb tube light kerosene oil lamp candle and torch are all man made sources of light luminous and non luminous objects an object which gives out its own light is called as a luminous object the sun other stars burning candle lighted electric bulb lighted torch glowing tube light the flame of a gas burner firefly are all luminous objects this is because they give out their own light the luminous objects are in fact the sources of light luminous objects can be seen even in dark as they give out their own light a luminous object can be seen because the light given out by it enters our eyes an object which does not give out its own light is called a non luminous object the table chair book flower pot plants bag shoe moon etc are all non luminous objects the non luminous objects can be seen only when light coming from a luminous objects like sun tube light etc falls on them we can see the non luminous objects because they reflect light received from the luminous objects into our eyes for example the moon is a non luminous object which does not have its own light however we can see the moon because it reflects sunlight into our eyes in fact moonlight is the sunlight which is reflected from the surface of the moon the planets can also be seen in the sky because they are reflectors of sunlight similarly a flower is a non luminous object we can see a flower because it reflects sunlight falling on the flower when sunlight reflected by a flower enters our eyes we are able to see the flower we can see many things kept in a room during the day on which sunlight does not fall directly all the objects outside the room scatter the sunlight falling on them in all the directions even the air scatters some sunlight it is this scattered sunlight which enters the room and helps us to see the things lying in the room which are not in direct sunlight the table kept in a room is a non luminous object which does not give out its own light however we can see the table because it reflects the light falling on it from the sun or bulb or tube light in all the directions and when this reflected light coming from the table enters our eyes we are able to see the table we cannot see an object if light from that object does not reach our eyes for example the light from an object lying behind a wall does not reach our eyes so we cannot see an object lying behind a wall transparent translucent and opaque materials when a light falls on a material 
then three things can happen either all the light can pass through the material or only some of the light can pass through the material or no light can pass through the material so depending on their behavior towards light all the materials can be classified as transparent translucent or opaque let us discuss these three types of materials in somewhat details transparent materials those materials which allow the light to pass through them are called transparent materials the materials like glass air water and coconut oil are transparent materials they allow almost all the light to pass through them we can see clearly through the transparent materials the examples of objects which are transparent in nature are spectacles test tube beaker flask car windscreen etc so if we are able to see through an object clearly it is allowing all the light to pass through it and hence it is a transparent object the transparent object allow all the light to pass through them because they do not absorb or reflect any light translucent materials those materials which allow only some of the light to pass through them are called translucent materials the materials like frosted glass butter paper tissue paper muddy water and clouds etc are translucent materials they allow only a part of the light falling on the surface to pass through them we cannot see clearly through a translucent material clouds are translucent objects though we cannot see the sun through clouds on a cloudy day but still there is some light all around this is because being translucent clouds allow some of the sunlight to pass through them due to which their light is on the earth even on a cloudy day thus if we can see through an object but not clearly it is allowing the light to pass through it only partially and hence it is a translucent object the translucent objects absorbs a good part of the light falling on them and allow some of the light to pass through them opaque materials those materials which do not allow any light to pass through them are called opaque materials the materials like cardboard book wooden door brick wall and stones etc are all opaque materials these materials do not allow any light to pass through them we cannot see anything through an opaque object we cannot see anything behind the wooden door because it is an opaque object which does not allow any light to pass through it so if we cannot see through an op- object at all it is not allowing any light to pass through it and hence it is an opaque object the opaque object does not allow light to pass through them because they absorb or reflect all the light falling on them light travels in straight lines if we light a torch on a dark night we will see that the beam of light produced by torch travels straight into darkness this observation shows that light travels in straight lines if we place an object in the path of a light a shadow is formed behind the object the formation of shadow by source of light also suggests that the light travels in straight lines this is because if light could bend and travel in curved lines then it would have reached behind the object and hence no shadow could have been formed the fact that we cannot see around a corner also shows that light travels in straight line the property of light traveling in straight line is called rectilinear propagation of light if we fix a lighted candle on a table and look through a stretched rubber tube with one eye keeping other eye closed we will find that when the rubber tube is straight we can see the light of a candle flame through it now if we bend the rubber tube a little and look through it at the candle flame again we cannot see the light of candle flame through a bent rubber tube thus we can say that the light can travel through a hole of straight rubber tube but not through the bent rubber tube so we can conclude that light travels in a straight line the pinhole camera The pinhole camera consists of a closed box having a small pinhole in the front and a translucent screen made of a butter paper at the back. The butter paper acts as a screen to receive image of the object. Since butter paper is translucent, some light can pass through it due to which we can see the image formed on it by keeping our eye behind the pinhole camera. The pinhole camera works on the principle that light travels in straight lines. 
the light rays coming from an object and going through the pinhole travel in a straight lines to the screen if we point a pinhole camera at a distant tree and look into the pinhole camera by keeping our eye at its back side we will see an image of the tree on the screen this is because some of the light coming from the tree passes through the pinhole to form an image on the screen the formation of image takes place as follows a ray of light coming from the top point a of the tree passes through a pinhole in straight line to form an image at point a dash on the screen another ray of light coming from the bottom b of a tree also passes through a pinhole in straight line to form an image at point b dash on the screen in the same way each point on the tree between a and b forms its corresponding image on the screen between points a dash and b dash please note here that the light rays a a dash and b b dash coming from the top and bottom of the tree respectively cross over at the pinhole p due to this crossing over of a light rays the top of the tree comes at the bottom in the image and the bottom of tree comes at the top in the image and the tree appears upside down on the screen this is called as an inverted image this image in a pinhole camera has the following characteristics the image in a pinhole camera is inverted as compared to the object the image is real and it can be formed on screen the image is of the same color as the object the image can be smaller than the object equal to the object or bigger than the object depending on the distance of object from pinhole the pinhole camera is a simple device to see the image of various objects a pinhole camera can also be used to take photograph of an object if a photographic film is placed on the screen pinhole camera were used to take photographs in earlier days however nowadays we use digital cameras for taking photographs friends this was all about the first part of chapter light shadows and reflection in second part of this video we will study shadows and reflections of light thank you for watching this video hope you liked it please do like share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notifications on the new videos thank you and all the best